Hi, it's me again with Kirill Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this on Facebook and wanted to know how to do it. Uh, this is relatively easy. Um, depending on what kind of dog you want, I just typed in Google search clip art silhouette dog Labrador, and I picked up this one. It's not perfect. It's a little bit rough, but we're just going to make this in just a few steps. You don't have to hit your calculator. I'm, as always, I'm going to make a duplicate of the dog. I'm going to take this dog. I've made it really little. I'm going to go to trace bitmap, outline, trace, clip art. It takes just a second. There's no inner parts to it, so there'll be no white background. You can always test it with a yellow box, uh, but because of the fact that there's no yellow background, uh, there should not be any anything there. Now it is now it's a vector, and I would now I would go and go left click, right click, and there's your outline. It's in a hairline already. This is probably the time I'd make my ornament the size I wanted. Let's say you if you get this handle and kind of stretch it out, and it's four inches by three inches, and you can make anything you want. Now this particular dog I don't really love. He doesn't really have any ears, but if you'll take your smoothing tool, and I'm gonna set it like on a half inch, click on your dog and then just lightly, quickly move around it and it's taking out a lot of nodes and making it a lot smoother. The bigger your um, nib is, the quicker it's gonna happen. So you gotta kinda of move fast so you won't distort it. <clears throat> Even if it's a, you know, a laser product doesn't really matter. Now we're going to take this thing and we're going to go to effects and contour. I like contour to the outside, so we might have to resize it. I've got it set on 0.1 to the outside with rounded corners. And I'm going to hit apply. That gives us, if we take your parallel dimension tool, like a tenth of an inch, which is pretty good because we're going to strengthen it up when we put the word in it. Now, instead of breaking the contour part, I'm just gonna take the Smart Fill tool and go and fill in that, and then I'm gonna left click, right click in red, make sure at all times it's a, well, somebody, I'm using somebody else's file. Um, I don't wanna, I don't want that Smart Fill. Um, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and go make it a hairline right now. Now at this time, this is all one curve. So go up to object and break the curve apart and nudge the outside of the dog out, out of the way. So here's your part to write in. And I'm gonna go and I'm just gonna use epilogue. And um, you can put any name and then pick a font that is cursive or script type deal. Now I'm gonna left click, right click. <clears throat> this particular word has an I in it. So I need to do that first with that dot. I'm gonna to go to object and break it apart. And then I'm gonna grab the eye and you can see it's still connected. Go to object and well, I'm gonna to to convert it to a curve and then go up to object and break the curve apart. And then I'm gonna take this eye and a lot of times I'm gonna call that good. Whoop, I nudged that, I don't wanna nudge it. A lot of times when you use this weld, tool. It doesn't work. It'll take away some of the inside. Well, don't always forget under object you have weld right here that'll work better. So you've got it all welded together. It's a hairline. This is the inside of our dog, so I'm going to reduce it. And that gap right there doesn't really matter right here because it's going to be strong enough. And the reason I took the outside away is you're going to see in just a second. Now, my nudge is four inches, so remember that. I'm gonna go like 0.1, so I can grab my name and kind of nudge it a little, well, let's go 0 0.01. And then that way I can kind of fine tune it. I want at least four parts touching the dog. <clears throat> so that G is gonna kind of go away, so I'm gonna move it down a little bit. And I've got, if I make it a little bit bigger, 
I can have a contact there, a contact there. So I've got really good strength. Now, you can't really weld this because it's going to do that. So what I suggest to do is go right here to back minus front and then do the opposite, <laughs> depending on which one you drew first. Now I'm going to go back minus front. That is pretty much done. Now we need to put a, a, a hanger on this dog. And this might take a couple of tries. Um, you could actually cut one out and, and move it around before you do all this work. But I would take an ellipse, pretty good size, and then put it about, I'm going to guess about right in there. Let me zoom in here. Take another ellipse, go control D, and move that down to make your circle. Now, you could weld this, but a lot of times it's so much easier just to take your virtual segment delete key and delete those lines and that line and that line. Now, if we select this, there are three objects. So I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. Now, I'm going to, I nudged it, but I remember I got to put it back to four inches. And so I'm going to nudge that out of the way. So now when I do this in red, it's all one piece. You can see a curve on one layer. Let me get rid of this dog. Let me go ahead and get rid of this. See that piece that left over? And then you can nudge it right back. And you're done. That's all it takes. You could always test it out with the Smart Fill tool and get on your border. And that's what your ornament is going to look like. Pretty easy, pretty quick. Uh, of course, a person's name is going to be a lot better, and so on and so on. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit, and thank you for watching.